Hey guys, Alex Allgood from Bra Productions, and today we're going to be learning how to create action title intros in Sony Vegas. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into it, and let's look at what we'll be creating. Pretty cool, you can use this on action films, uh, action videos, maybe even action comedies, action uh, uh, game montages, action, uh, uh, you know, your typical action stuff, um, but uh, yeah. Don't know really what else to say about it, it is pretty cool, I like it a lot, the red line really uh, shabams it, uh, but you know. You know. Okay, let's get started. Here I am in Sony Vegas. Um, Sony Pro 9. Um, oh, this just clicked in my head. Please don't leave a comment asking where I got the music. That's like all I get now. It's just, oh my god, where'd you get the music? It's so cool. I promise if you go to Google and type in like cinematic music or intro music or epic music, you can find a website that has royalty-free samples you can use. Uh, for free, you just gotta research it a little bit. I'm not gonna send you a direct link to where I get my music. That's just stupid. Um, but if you want to know where I got my music, I got it from VideoCopilot.com. I mean .net um, from their product Pro Scores. It's great, and I would highly recommend it. But uh, now, since we're off topic, let's talk about something something crazy. I had this dream the other night. I was in Sony Vegas, and uh, I was walking around, and it, I talked to it. I was like, "Hey, Sony Vegas, how's it going?" And it was like, "It was like uh, you need to you need to do this tutorial now." I was like, "Oh, okay, okay." And then I woke up, and here I am now. Oh, okay. So anyway, um, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to go to insert. Oh, can't do it yet. We have to make a video track. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna go to insert video track, and then we'll go insert. Text media. Now, uh, what we're, simply what we're going to do is we're going to create a text media uh, box for each letter of your name or your production company, whichever that you're going to make flash the letters of at the beginning. I always try to keep it kind of short, around five or six characters. I did broad productions on mine, and as you can see, that was a little bit long and ridiculous. So, uh, for this sample, we're just going to keep it at just bra b r a. Um, now, I am using Arial Black, which is should be a default font on uh, Windows computers. It's pretty cool. It's it's very solid. I, I like it a lot. I use it on a lot of things. And we're going to set, it, being in an HD uh, 1080p comp, we're going to set the size of the text to 180. Shabam. Okay, we'll go ahead and close out of that. Drag it to the beginning of our timeline. Here we are. So we're going to go to to the video effects tab next we're going to go to bump map and we're going to apply the upper right glow uh, default preset and that's good just how it is actually we might increase the ambience just a little bit just so it's a little bit wider than uh, darker so you can see it better the contrast against the black background so that's looking pretty good and now let's go to the event pan crop button and let's make it uh, keyframe back a little bit. So we'll zoom out of here. Um, we'll go to 10 seconds in our timeline and we'll make sure the lock aspect ratio button up here is uh, is turned on. So you want the button to be like that. And we're going to drag it out to about, if you see around on the outside of your video footage, there'll be these little dots. And you're going to drag it around to the uh, second or third dot, uh, whichever you prefer. But those work the best. And I'm just dragging it out to the second for right now. And then uh, that should be good. So now it automatically keyframe, keyframed it since we, uh, since we put that in. So we'll close out of that. We'll check it out, make sure it's right. And that looks good. That's what we want. All right, so... Um, so then, uh, uh, lost my train of thought here for a second. Sorry about that. Uh, we're going we're gonna to simply just copy this. Now that we have all the effects we want on each letter, 
All we have to do is copy it and change the letter, and that's it. And then just add in the uh, flash transition. So we're going to uh, click Copy, Paste. And we want to do a new copy, not a reference. And Because a reference, if you change one, the other one will change two. You don't want that because we're going to change the letter to something different. So new copy. Then we're going to go to Generated Media. And we're going to put in our next letter. We'll put in R. R for Rhinoceros. And we're going to drag it over. And if you just drag it on top of the clip, it will automatically fade. Um, the defaults of fade, but we can add a transition. And uh, in, you can change this to any uh, value you want. If you want the flash to be uh, longer or shorter and crisper, it's all up to you. But in my video, I had it at 15 frames, which should be, if you're in a, a 30 frames per second comp, should be half a second. So we'll go ahead and drag that over. Just cutting the B clip down a little bit, just so it doesn't just show B the entire time. Like you want just a little space, like a couple frames of the B, and then it starts to fade. And then we'll do the same for the R, or we'll fix that in a second. We'll uh, we'll go ahead and um, copy the R, paste new copy of it, go into it and put A, and close out. And then we'll do the same thing. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to drag the A all the way to where it meets up and is good friends with the other fade. So there's no gap between them. And then on the, the end of the R, we're going to move that around to adjust how long the fade is rather than the A, only so we keep these fades together. And we have that at 15 now. And then if you want to add more letters, you basically just do the same thing. Just load it on top, make sure it's together with this other fade, and then move the A until you get it to 15 frames. And then, uh, and then we have to add the essential factor, the flash. So we're going to go to the transitions um, tab and go to flash and add in a hard flash. And we'll add it for the second one as well. And that's, that shouldn't be it for the uh, beginning part. And that looks, looks great. We can add in some nice booms there for some sound effects. And then as your last uh, title, we'll fade that out. We'll fade in the beginning as well a little bit. That looks good. And now let's create the the main title where it says your name or production company fully. So we're going to go to Insert Text Media. And then we're going to type in Bra Productions. We support you in entertainment. <sighs> what a corny line. Okay. Not that our name is for bra because uh, we like women or we're perverts. No. We actually have a video on it. Uh, you know, check it out in the meantime. It's called Why We Are Called Bra. All right. So I just set this to the, <clears throat> to the font that fills up the screen. Um, pretty good. Uh, I'm okay with that. And then, uh, let's see. What do we want to do next? What do we want to do? There's a lot of different options. Let's add the red line, you know? Because nothing screams action than the color red. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go to Media Generators. We're going to go to Solid Color. And we're going to go to Red. And we'll drag that underneath the Bra Productions tab. We'll close out of this, uh, this color box. Ooh, pretty long. We'll go ahead and clip the red down a little bit. We'll go to the event pan crop button. Um, take the lock aspect ratio off, which is what we turned on earlier, but in this case we want it turned off. And then just so we can see our, our comp, we're just going to grab this bottom little toggle thing and we're just going to bring it down to where it's a nice line. The thickness is up to you yeah all right so that looks good we'll uh we'll go ahead and add a, a flash on the bra productions so we'll go to back to transitions we'll go to hard flash drag that on there and what i did in my comp is i added the horizontal diffusion all the way up keeping the vertical diffusion at zero so like right here when the fade kind of comes down it, it adds this nice like uh kind of light rays effect on the bra productions, it's just it's pretty cool looking. Kind of adds to the actiony effect a little bit, and then uh, yeah. 
So let's drag this this line if we hold control alt shift over to where the flash creates the scene to be all white. So basically the middle of the flash and that's where we want the red to start. And then create a fade um, that that fades up to where the end of the flash. So basically we just made the the intro fade for the line half the length of the flash basically. And let's make it do a nice wipe across. So we'll go to well, already in transitions. And we'll go to the linear wipe transition. And we will go to the left right hard edge uh, preset. Add that on. And since this does have our hard edge, I don't really like that. So we're going to feather it. We're going to put it at 0 0.2. That should be good. So now if we look back at a comp kind of see it flash over really fast you know gotta have things flashy to make it actiony that's kind of a cool line if you want it actiony you gotta make it flashy <laughs> oh you might just see a future t-shirt that will have that on it you might just see it um all right so let's make the the text look good so we're going to add in the bump map like we did for the letters at the beginning to the Brawl Productions. You know, add in the upper right glow effect. And that looks kind of gross. Um, well, make sure you look at it in best uh, full because, see, it makes a difference on how the text looks when the uh, preview is on. Just the lower resolution. But, uh, yeah, we're going to drag this little thing to the middle. So basically the light shines in the middle of the text, not in the corner how the default is. And already, this is pretty much how we want it. But let's increase the bump height just a little bit more and maybe the ambience up a little bit so these edges aren't so drowned out by the middle light. Like that. That looks pretty good. Wow. I'm impressed. Pat on the back. And then we can add a nice shadow to the Brawl Productions. We'll, uh, we'll click the Generated Media. And then we'll go to Effects. And we'll click Draw Shadow. And we'll increase the feather just a little bit to around 0 0.4. Yeah, that should be good. And boom, that looks fantastic. Um, and now let's add it, uh, add a transition, an outro transition rather, for the Brawl Productions. Um, now we're going to make our own transition rather than using one of the default transitions, uh, which is just a, uh, a blur out. So we're going to go to video effects. We're going to go to Gaijin Blur. Hopefully I pronounce that right. In every tutorial, whenever I use this, I never know how to pronounce it right. And people get mad at me and they eventually make me cry. And, uh, you know, I just don't like to deal with that. So I'm just making up my own vocabulary here. Right or wrong, Gaijin Blur. Take it or leave it, buddy. Um, just kidding. I love you guys. Alright, so <laughs> we're going to add in the uh, medium blur to the text. Uh, oh, wow. Wow. Look at that texture. Just kidding. Okay. So it already made a, a, a oh, I'm on bump map. It already made a keyframe um, as a default at the beginning of these parameters, which will be good that we want it to eventually go to. So we're going to drag that keyframe to the end. And about uh, three fourths the way through, which is in, ooh, about right there. Oh, there we go. About right there. Um, we are going to, going to, we are going. Why did I say that twice? We are. <laughs> we're going to drag it out to zero because we don't want it to be blurred in the beginning. And then we can right-click on that keyframe and click smooth, so it eases into the blur. Let's check that out. Which, uh, you know, it's. Oh, we're still on best full. Let's go to preview auto just so we can watch it in real time. That looks pretty good. Now let's, uh, you know, add a quick fade to the line so it fades out with the bra. That looks good. It'll look better when you render it and watch it uh, in real time than compared to raw like this. And now, all you have left to do is add in some flashy action uh, sound effects and music, which, uh, you know, rewind the tutorial if you want to figure out where I got mine. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, you know, add in a background if you want or some explosions. And you should have yourself a fancy action uh, intro. And 
I would love to see any work you have done. So if this tutorial helped you or you have used this tutorial, please post a video response of your work and I'll check it out. And, uh, you know, we'll become friends. I like, I like being friends. Um, and always check out brawlproductions.net, which I'm actually doing something new. This, um, I don't know why I didn't mention this earlier, this template is going to be on brawlproductions.net. So if you go there, go to the downloads page, Just be gotta, you just got to become a member. It's free, fast, and easy. Um, and you can download this link so you don't have to sit there and make it all yourself. All you got to do is just change the letters um, and in your title just to to make it what sh what your name is because you don't want something that says Brawl Productions you want like XD4 Gamer 69 or whatever your name is um and yeah so just go to brawlproductions.com on the downloads page I also have some free textures that you can use as backgrounds and some stock footage and even some music um, that you can download all for free just gotta become a member so check that out guys, leave a video response, um, you can you can request tutorials at broadproductions.net in the forums as well, and I hope everyone has a great day. Um, yeah, sorry I got a little bit off track on this tutorial, I know I did a lot, <laughs> but it's fun, you know, gotta make, gotta live life, make it lively, live life with Sony Vegas, God, I should make commercials for Sony, anyway, everyone have a great day, and uh, Glad I could help you out.